This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a slicing text effect inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a pretty simple effect, but looks very, very cool. Also, before we start, please do subscribe to the channel. We are so close of hitting that 300,000 subscribers, man. That is just Boom. that is just awesome so please do make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new videos so with that said let's jump into after effects and get started All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's make this 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, 10 seconds long. Call this render as this is going to be our main render comp. And by the way, I've started um, adding this uh, shortcut, keyboard shortcuts, and I hope that helps you. If it did, Make sure you let me know in the comment section below or just like this video anyway so hit ok let's create one more new composition which is going to be our text placeholder so i'll call this text test test <laughs> text and hit ok but before that let's change the height to around 500 should be good and then we can type in any text that we want so i'll select the text tool and um, for the font i'm using monumental extended i have mentioned the link in the description if you want to use the same exact font but this font looks pretty sick with this effect so i would suggest to go with this exact font that i will be using so i'll type in any text that i want so i'll type in urban street you are free to type in whatever that you want i'm, I'm gonna keep it around 240 um set the spacing to zero i guess that looks good and align it into the center if you don't see this align tab you can find it under windows align and we will just set this to around 260 that is looking much better all right so there we have our text let's go back into our render comp and drag and drop in our text composition now we need to turn this layer into a 3d layer so we can easily add that nice depth to it but before that we need to create our slices so it's very easy to create all you have to do is select the layer make sure the layer is selected select the rectangle tool which is gonna select the rectangle tool basically and let's create a mask just like so all right then select the mask hit ctrl t and it's gonna bring up the transform properties and i can just easily rotate this just like so i can also change the size of our mask depending on the look i want to go for and i can move it around as well so I, i'm going to keep it somewhere around like that let's select it hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit m to bring down the mask property i can select this hit ctrl t and then i can just simply move this holding shift if i want to and then if i hit ctrl shift h so we can hide the control layers and then i can just select the mask layer and you know just using the arrow keys i can precisely make the cut and that is looking very nice so i'm going to repeat the same process again so hit ctrl shift h so we can see the control layers again hit ctrl d hit m select the mask hit ctrl t and then move this holding shift just like so let's hide the control layers and using the arrow keys we can make a precise cut and finally for this one hit ctrl d and the same exact process now you can create as many masks as you want to so i'm gonna keep it something like that let's use the arrow keys to be a bit more precise yep so now we have our slices hit ctrl a close that up so I'll select this slice, hit Control Shift H so I can see it. So I can select this slice and the top one. Let's change the color to red so we can, you know, identify it more properly. And also I can create a new camera. Let's keep it a 35 millimeter lens. Hit OK. 
and let's select this slice and let's add a drop shadow to add a nice depth into this so i can go into effects and preset type in drop shadow double click to apply that up hit ctrl shift h so we can hide the control layers and just focus on the shadows so shadow plays a very important role in this kind of a design so we need to tweak some settings do some trial and error so that you can you can find exact shadow that looks good so first i will be creating a close-up shadow which is going to be very sharp kind of you know and also pretty intense like that you can just play around with this a bit you know something like this so something like that hit ctrl d and the second one is gonna be a distance shadow which will have a nice softness and we can play around again with the opacity depending on the look that we want to go for so something like this now let's create the third shadow for the top section so hit ctrl shift h so we have a slice right over here as well so we can select this drop shadow hit ctrl d so we have our third shadow we can rename it if you want to but it's fine let's set the softness to zero as of now and increase the uh, opacity just so we can see it more properly and what i'm going to do is put this on the top and let's rotate this in a different direction and then let's move this to the top just like so let's bring down the opacity and let's increase the softness perfect now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below so as you can see it's looking pretty nice maybe i'll bring down the softness around 70 and that is looking pretty good may bring down the opacity to 40 i guess yep so pretty happy with the effect let's copy all the drop shadows so i can just close them up hit ctrl c select this one hit ctrl v we don't need the third one for this because we don't have any slice at the top anyways i'll rotate this uh, just a touch all right so that is looking pretty nice maybe i'll increase the intensity a bit just like so and for this one as well something like that all right that is looking pretty good so i'll go to around one second and 15 frames select these two layers that we have and I can create a keyframe on the drop shadow opacity of every drop shadow. Oh, not the color. And I can create keyframe on all the opacity of all the drop shadow, just like so. Same for this one as well. We don't want this one. So I'll create a keyframe on the opacity. And then if I just select them, hit U and I'll go back at around 15 frames. Let's bring down the opacity to zero so we have something like this but with this we also need to change the position of our slice so to do that i'll go right over here let's select all the layers hit p create a keyframe on the position let's hit u let's go right here hit p again so we can just see the position and let's change the position accordingly so i'll just bring bring that at the back a bit so 30 set this to minus 20 a bit to the front set this one to 30 as well so this will be at the back and set the these two to minus 20 so they are a bit to the front all right so now they are nicely distributed in the z space now one thing that we need to do is if i just select the camera and if i create a rotation you know it's gonna rotate through the camera so we want to create a 3d orbit for our text 
So what I can do is select the camera, right click, go into camera and create orbit null. So now if I select the orbit null, hit R and rotate it, we get this really cool look, right? So let's go to around 15 frames. Create a keyframe on the Y rotation, go to one second and 15 frames and let's give it a little bit of rotation just like that. So maybe around minus 10 or something. And then what we can do is select all the layers, hit U so we can see all the keyframes, select them, hit F9, go into the graph editor and if your graph editor is not looking like this, so right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point and drag the handle to the left just like so. So we have a nice movement as you can see and it's looking pretty cool, right? And finally, I will create an in animation for our text. So I'll go to around 10 frames, select the orbit null, hit P, create a keyframe on the position, go back and let's zoom in unless and until it goes out of the frame. Select it, hit F9, graph editor and let's drag it to the left. So we have something like this. Now I think it's a bit too fast. So obviously we can bring that up. Yep, as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. So if I just set this to full, see, I'll create a new adjustment layer. Call this displace and let's go into effects and preset and type in turbulence displacement. And let's increase the size to around 300. Maybe 300 is a bit too much. Let's go to 250, go to around 10, 10 frames, create a keyframe on the amount, hit U, pull that at the very start and set this to zero. So I can select this keyframe, hit F9, go into the graph and again the same exact thing and probably I will just um, move this keyframe as well. So we have this a little bit of displacement as you can see but it looks pretty cool and there we have a nice slice pretty nice so let's preview this and i think it's looking pretty damn cool now there are a couple of things that you can do with this effect for example you can also add some nice color to this if you want to so i can go right here and if i just show that pretty quickly i'll select this layer and let's go into effects and preset type in fill double click and let's put this at the very top make sure all the drop shadows are below that fill effect and as you can see it looks pretty damn cool you can go and add any nice color that you like maybe something like a nice yellow you know create a keyframe on the color go back and set this to white again i know it's pretty um abstract thing but i think it looks pretty cool though so we have this cool color as well so depending on the look you want to go for but i personally feel that the white color looks much better so as you can see it's pretty simple and looks very dynamic and cool you can add some more slices if you want you can add different uh, styles of slices if you want to add in this particular text animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you never miss any new videos on the channel so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out